episode of Incorto d'Arte. Are you ready to put on our disguise? Because today we're going to talk about masks. A mask is an object that once put in front of our face allowed us to hide our identity and appearance. The reason why people wear masks are varied and change depending on how they use in the different cultures. For instance, people wear masks during funerals and rituals or also to scare enemies during battles. And of course, for entertainment, to define the, char the characters and personalities of the different actors in a play. In Latin, the expression theatrical mask actually means person. This is to indicate that the real identity of a person is always hidden behind one, or like the Italian author Pirandello will say, a hundred thousand masks. The gesture of hiding behind a mask is very ancient. Throughout history and in many cultures, masks have fulfilled a human need to disguise, transform or preserve one's identity. For example, ancient Egyptians create funeral masks made of a very thin sheets of gold, meant to preserve the dead's appearance. Or in ancient Greece, actors performed with their faces covered with large masks to identify the characters they were playing. In traditional tribal culture, the African mask always has a spiritual value. When it is used, connected to dance or music with different instruments, it is not a mere show in itself, but a ritual. The wearer becomes a kind of instrument themselves, which allows the people of a village to communicate with its own gods, with ancestors, the diseased, animals or other spirits of nature. Nowadays, children wear masks to become their favorite character from movies and comics, while adults use them as costumes that can entertain or make a stage of protest. We have seen how in different cultures, masks had and still have a fundamental role. But how do contemporary artists use them in their artworks? Let's find out together. But first, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button not to lose our next episodes. Brazilian artist Laura Lima works with the idea of interaction between art, habitable spaces and people. In a series called Nomads, the artist created masks that show ancient landscapes rather than human features. When these masks are worn, the result is surreal and liberating as instead of looking at a face, we look at a pictorial space. Maybe the idea of mental landscapes which initiates confusion and alienation in the viewer. Christopher Efti is a Swiss artist who shares his time between fashion design and art, for which he created the different video installations that were shown all around Europe. Being fascinated by the use of traditional work in a contemporary context, combined with his love for artisan fabric, F.T. explores the relationship between designers and artisans. From this comes his artwork called World Mask, in which the artist uses different textiles to create a unique mask, which includes all the masks from different nations and cultures. Janina Anderson is an artist, writer and educator that lives and works in Montreal. The artist uses collage to understand how pictures work together, affirming that her work follows the concept of looking really hard. In a series called Meaning Structures, Anderson creates masks in textiles that once worn hide and cancel all the features that allowed us to recognize the likeness and feelings of the person who is wearing them. In this way, the artist explores the effect of disorientation in the decision-making process and in the formation of the personal identity. Now that we have seen three different artists that wear and work with masks, are you ready to get inspired by their work and create your own mask? You will need different pieces of fabric and don't forget to feel for their different textures and to look them closely on both sides. 
other scraps of old fabric these can be of many colors and shapes it doesn't matter glue a pastel or a pencil and a pair of scissors let's go take the piece of fabric that will be the base of your mask and draw the shape that you like if you're not sure about the shape of your mask you can try different ones on a different piece of paper When you're happy with its shape, you can cut it out. Then take different fabric and cut as many different shapes as you like. Arrange these shapes on the mask until you reach the results that you want. And now glue everything together. Make sure you protect the table you're working on with a piece of paper or plastic. When everything is glued on, wait for it to dry and then you can wear your mask. This is the mask that I have created inspired by today's artists. As you can see, it shows my personal mental landscape. There are still many things that can be said about the world of masks. However, today's video ends here. Thank you for joining me. And I hope that I see you again in another journey into arts. Bye!